So this is gonna be kind of the back end on how to prep and get this, kind of like how I did for the GM keys. So I did have to do some research online, you know, I'm not pioneering this, but I'm seeing what people are doing, what works, what doesn't work. It is kind of confusing when it comes to getting to the FDRS software, um, when it comes to packages and pricing. But when you're in, you're able to click and do everything. Now I noticed that on my first attempt, um, I was not able to be signed in fully and I could not find the PATS option and it was showing all the vehicle stuff and like I could program a remote for a police vehicle, but I could not do the PATS for a regular Ford. And then once I was signed in with my NASA credentials, then super simple, you're done in seconds to program that new key or key count and stuff like that. But going into what we have. So when you look at this information, we're gonna have our software. I'll put the links down below in the description, but we're gonna have this information. We're gonna have the activation code. It's gonna expire by the time you see this, but it's gonna be a two day code. Cool, it's when it's validated, cool, and we're good. But the weird thing is a lot of people are saying, hey, it's gonna be expensive or not expensive. Not quite sure. Uh, today is September 25th, 2025. But when we're looking on here, it's gonna go ahead and they combined it. So from what I've seen is they have combined them. It used to be the old software and the new software in its different prices, but now it's gonna be this one. Interesting. So we're gonna have to download this information as well. So when we go to software, we want to And then looking at the downloads, they did changes from like last week, but now it's pretty simple. So we're looking at the FDRS subscription. We click on that one. The IDS is gonna be like diagnostics from what I understand. And then the VCI software, download that. And then the biggest thing is um, when you have this, you're gonna like remove all the, the firewalls, the security so the FDRS can run safely and without like pop-up restrictions on your laptop. So take note of that, run it as administration, and then, then you're good to go. So let me show you. So when you're gonna be opening and running, you're gonna run as administration. Also, you're gonna turn off security so it prevents any block ups from being stopped, um, just so it can work and function without any issues. So that's what you're gonna do. So let's kind of get started. We're going to be working on a 2023 Ford Maverick. This is like, I guess, the prep work. So let's go ahead and sign in. Cool. I need to update purchase. So it's on here. The 30th. So I can do a, a two day pass, just one. And then check out the links below. I'll have the, I guess, the links for these websites. So I entered in the billing information and let's go ahead and place order. And then once it's purchased, you're gonna have the activation code. And then now you're going to open up your FDRS software. Let that boot up and let's go ahead and get our Altel V200. Already downloaded that and also the data link cable, you'll need that. Okay, so when we open up the FDRS, we're gonna have this. We wanna make sure we have independent login, but also license is bright red. We need to turn that green. We need to copy and paste from that previous screen on there. So I click add license and it gives me that. So I'm gonna type it in. Cool, I typed it in and now it's green. Cool, let's go ahead and proceed. Then you're gonna have to sign in here. Once signed in on both sites, now it's gonna update and check. And you're basically good to go. Cool, so it took about maybe a minute or so for it to update and check the latest software. Now we're gonna get to this screen. You can see the previous Fords I've done and then our device manager. So we're gonna click on the V200. 
we're using that Altel V200, the data cable, cool. And also a good thing to look at is you're gonna see the information down there where it's gonna show it's connected to the vehicle, um, signal and battery life, great or battery voltage. You wanna see that. If it's all green, we're good to go. Cool, and that's what we have selected. Let's go ahead and click okay dokie. And let's see if we can read the VIN from the vehicle. Cool, it pops up, so it's ending in 4205. 4205, just double checked with the door and we are good. Let's go ahead and click go. And it's gonna download this information and it's gonna check there. Okay, interesting, so I got this information. Let's go ahead and see. So it's saying, let's work around use offline mode. Upper right corner. Let's see if we can just find it again. Everything's green down here. It's good. It's reading the modules. It's connected. Alto's just going to town thinking. Okay, so I click the go again and it popped this up. Cool. So now we're going to, cool, there's a Maverick. Cool, it's a 23. Let's go ahead and we're gonna click up on toolbox toolbox and then we're going to go over here and search we're going to type in p a t s oops passive anti-theft click on that it's downloading let's click run Cool, now we gotta enter in our NAFSA information. Once that's typed in, it's gonna load up. And now we can go to our options here. So let's go ahead and count keys. Let's like a, a standard four practice. You can only have four at a time. And let's check count keys. Okay. Two. So his original key, and then he lost it or we only came with one, and we're gonna make a new one. So this one's programmed. This one's not. Okay, cool. Let's go back. Let's go ahead and do program keys. Program keys. I'm gonna put the new key in the prox pocket. Here. I dug around. It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. Not there, underneath the rubber. It's gonna be in there. Couldn't really find anything online. Hopefully that helps you. Cool. It's in there. And let's go ahead and hit okay. Cool. Good sound. Two to three. And let's go ahead and take the key out before we exit. Ooh. And then the key with the ring. Whoa. That's the best part. Let's exit. Cool. Now, if you're curious about the whole setup of how to get to this stage, um, I guess check out the rest of the video. I'll have like the step-by-step. -step. I basically just grabbed my laptop, signed in, purchased that subscription, and then I'm ready to, to go. Uh, now I just got to cut the key. I'm going to show you how to do that, but yeah, and we are good. So if you just need to see that, cool. If not, stick stick around Bennett, let off some steam, and we're gonna cut that key, and then you'll see how to do the software parts. Cool, other than that, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Uh, make sure you give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. Just helps the channel, helps me. Um, and also, if you have other questions, cool, let me know. And I will do the rest for the key cutting, and then also that software. Thanks, bye. So now we gotta cut the key. It's gonna be super narrow. 
if you look at this, all the new types of keys that need FDR stuff for, most of them are gonna be that center cut. I'm gonna click the Ford Maverick options and it's gonna show decode and we have that center cut. Let's go ahead and get started. Got it set up for U0. So mesmerizing. And then looking at that, I did pull code, but look at the pattern. That pattern's gonna be correct. Great. And now we got the key cut. Let's go check it in the door. But other than that, we are good. Uh, check out the, I guess the software if you want to see that next. And other than that, like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.